Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at how you respond to list um, to tab selections. So at the moment, um, if I click this message tab here, I have to actually do something in the tree. I have to click a checkbox before messages are retrieved. And I want to change that so that just selecting the tab in itself will retrieve messages. And by the way, I've added a bunch of fake messages uh, to my message controller, my fake message retriever, and I've decreased the time that it takes to retrieve each message, so it's a bit more realistic now. Okay, so um, this is pretty simple. I'm going to go to um, the place main frame where I actually create the tab pane, and um, I'm going to add to the tab pane, tab pane, a change listener. So add change listener. And I could uh, make mainframe implement change listener, but I'll say I use an anonymous class here. Say new change listener like this. Open a curly bracket and put a semicolon in. And let's uh, add the unimplemented methods there. So it's just got one method called state changed, and this will be called whenever a tab is selected. And when a tab is selected, I'm going to say tab pane dot get selected tab get selected index sorry and I'm going to say int uh, tab index equals tab pane dot get selected index and let's just do a sys out now to see what tab that is uh, tab index there we go and minimize the editor and let's go so now if I click messages so that's you can see down here that's the tab number one and the person database is tab zero. So that works quite nicely. And that's all the all you really need to know to selecting tabs. But um, I'm gonna now make this application actually re actually retrieve messages in response to that tab selection um, and display them in the kind of J list that we've got um, as our middle panel in this message database. So to do that um, I'm going to go to the message panel and I'm going to give it a message called refresh, so public void refresh and refresh is just going to call retrieve messages and uh, I'm also going to, I've actually set the selected servers in response to um, a tree cell being edited but I also need to set the selected servers um, earlier as well um, if because um, we want there to be a selected um, selection of servers even if no one's clicked anything in the tree yet um, so here's my selected servers and I'm just setting that selection on my message server and this is all stuff that I implemented in previous tutorials and now we can just say here um, if tab index equals one then um, message panel dot whoops message let's have a look message pane message panel yeah message panel dot refresh and that should do the trick and um, when the message panel is refreshed um, I'm going to add the titles of the messages to the J list that I've got in there and we covered J list before so I'm not going to show you anything new here um, but I'm going to say private default list model here in the message panel uh, let's call it message list model and down here let's say message list model equals new default message new default list mo model there we go and uh, in the bit of the code where um, actually I'll get rid of this sys out while I'm at it I don't need that in the bit of code where it actually retrieves the messages so in the done method of the swing worker thread down here I'm going to say after I get the messages I'll say um, uh, message list model message list model dot remove all elements to clear the list and then I'll say for message message in retrieve messages messages is a list I can say message list model message list model dot add um, element and I can pass in the message dot get 
title for the moment. And one thing I mustn't forget to do, and I always do forget to do this, is um, we've got to um, set the list to use this message list model. So if I just copy that and go down to where I, I think I copied it, Control C, and I go down to where I create the J list, I can just pass in the model right there. And now if I run this and I click on the messages tab, it um, outputs the um, messages here. And actually one, one refinement that I, sh I certainly should make here is, um, so I've got my message list there, let's wrap that in a new J scroll pane because a list um, of um, potentially infinite size that's not wrapped in a scroll pane is um, no use at all really. So whoops. So let's take a look at this and I'll come back. There we go. That's much better. And in a future tutorial, we're going to take a look at making this look a bit nicer by implementing a list renderer. But that's all for this tutorial. And until next time, happy coding.